Okay, it is time for part two of our two-part series on how to build a uh, bathroom shelf out of steel pipe and some cedar board. So, we're going to go over what you need. Safety glasses, of course. Tape measure, drill bit, pencil, speed square. So, pipe wrench to tighten up our fittings. Spade bit and a drill. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to go ahead and first mark our where we want our holes to be to allow these pipes to slide through the board. So I'll, I've already made one and I know that I want them to be in an inch and a half from this edge. And then we're gonna have to actually tighten up the pipe to get our other measurements. So for starters, we'll just get our inch and a half measurement here on both ends and it'll keep everything nice and straight when we're ready to uh, to drill. So there's our inch and a half and uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten up these fittings but we're going to do it in the magic of time lapse. This pipe was not going to tighten up like I wanted, but you want to make sure that the distance between here and here and here and here is the same. So we're at about an inch and a half on both sides. So now that we've got all these pieces tight, we'll leave these a little loose because we're going to have to adjust them here in uh, just a bit. We've got our inch and a half marks. What we're going to do first is we're going to set the pipe to the edge and we're going to measure the remaining distance that we have on this edge here and we'll split that in half and that will center that will center this pipe so we're just over three and a half so that's going to be what inch and three quarter roughly so we'll set it at inch and three quarter. We're not building uh, a rocket here. It doesn't really need to be exactly perfect, but you know, to make it close. So that's gonna represent the outside edge of the pipe. An inch and three quarter. So now that we've got that, we're just gonna kinda, for this project, we're just gonna eyeball some of this stuff, it'll be just fine. Got everything lined up, and we're gonna kinda rudimentarily here mark around the pipe. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but we've got where we need to uh, drill. Uh, we're gonna need to drill a pilot hole. So like I said, we'll just kinda eyeball. We've got our center mark here. Try to keep everything as straight as you can. And you're not going to really want to go all the way through. You want to go, I don't know, about three fourths of the way through and flip it over and come from the other way. That'll help with chip out because if you just went all the way through, one side's going to chip on you and it's not going to look very good. Well, if you're lucky, which I am usually not, the holes will line up fairly well. Yeah, see that one's a little off. So, we'll have to elongate that hole just a little bit. Use some uh, finagling techniques here and we'll get that to fit. Actually, there it goes. So, we'll make these just a little bit bigger. You wanted a nice tight fit. These base plates, you're gonna want to sit just behind this board here. Okay, so we've dry fitted our pipe. We've tightened everything down. Make sure we're square. Make sure you have equal measurements between these two points here. Equal measurements between this point and that point there. You 
drilled your holes, you walled them out so it'll slide over these pipes easily enough. Attach these caps, tighten them down, and for the most part, you are done. Just get some drywall anchors here to mount it to the wall. You're good to go. Uh, you can also seal the wood with some polyurethane. You could paint the pipe. Any number of things you can do to wrap the project up. But for today, we're going to call it job done. So once again, thanks for watching.